What's going on guys, Balkan Arctic here and in today's video I'm just going to be showing you how to create a dormer in Revit, what's the workflow, what should you probably keep in mind uh, and how to do it most quickly and efficiently. Now creating dormers uh, in Revit is uh, quite simple and straightforward if you know the correct workflow uh, and if you know how to kind of set everything up and little tips and tricks that you should keep in mind. Uh, now, before I get started with that, if you're really serious about learning Revit, and especially if you're serious about learning about roofs in Revit, I actually have a whole dedicated uh, Revit Roofs Masterclass. It's available on my website, balkanarctic.com. That's going to be the first link just below this video. And also, I'm going to include it up in the cards. Uh, so if you're serious about learning Revit, there you can learn about roofs. And then also, I have many more courses. I have over 120 hours of content. So if you're series about learning Revit, make sure to check it out. Okay, so now let's jump into Revit and let's get started. So as you can see here, I am in Revit and I'm just going to go here to models and to new. And for the template file, I am simply going to be using the architecture design template. Now that's also available on my website. So if you're interested in the templates, it's going to be the third link in the description below the video and also up in the cards right now. Okay, so let's go here to the actual project. So what I'm going to do is go first the project browser here and go down to level uh, one. So I can well, actually create the building for our roof. So let's first create the walls. So I'm just going to go here to the wall tool. WA is the shortcut. For the wall type, I'm going to be using my exterior wall. And then here for the draw tools, let's use a simple rectangle. Now you just want to click once. Uh, you create kind of the perimeter of the building, click again, and there we go, we have our simple building. Now let's create the actual roof. Now for the roof, we can actually do it in level one, we don't have to go up to level two. So you simply have to go here to the roof tool, click on roof by footprint, uh, now Revit is going to ask you, it's going to recognize that we're at level one and we actually have a couple of levels. So it's going to say, well, do you think it should be on level two? And you simply say yes here and that's going to move that roof from level one up to level two. So what you want to do here is just use the uh, pick walls tool and make sure that here in the overhang you def uh, you add an overhang. I just have it uh, default uh, set by default to 70 centimeters so you can change that if you want. I prefer this and then you can just come in here to one of the walls. Now I suggest you just highlight one of the walls like this. And then if you just hit the tab key once, so just the tab key once, it's going to highlight the whole chain of walls. So it's just simple, it's one click and then you have the whole chain of walls. You just hit finish here and your roof is done. Hit the escape key a couple of times. Now we can still see it here because it's in the uh, underlay setting, but to get to the actual roof, we need to move to level two here in the project browser. Okay, once we're at level two, I like to see the walls below. See this wall here? Uh, this is it has kind of that overhang and then it's the wall here. Now, I actually like to see that wall. So what I like to do is go here to our uh, visibility settings and set that to wireframe. So that's going to display that wall over here. The next step is, well, now we're actually starting to build the dormer. So to build the dormer, what you want to do is uh, you want to go first and uh, create the walls. So the walls are kind of the first step. So for the walls of this dormer, I'm just going to go to the wall tool, use the same wall, use the same uh, rectangle tool. You just come in here, you find kind of the center of it, click, and then you extend it like this. Now for the width, it can be, I don't know, something like this, 260, hopefully that will work. And you just create a small rectangle like so. Hit the escape key a couple of times. And then what you wanna do next is just select this wall here, just the one, uh, oops, the one in the back, and then hit delete. You don't want that wall. Uh, also, you want to select that wall. As you can see here, it's unconnected at 360 centimeters. That's perfectly fine. If you have a level above, you can uh, uh, constrain it to that. In this case, we don't really need that. So let's hit apply, click OK. And then let's go to the 3D view just to see this a little bit better. So I'm just going to open up the default 3D view here. And this is what that looks like. So you have your walls. Here, we might want to center them, so I'm just going to select all walls, move them a little bit towards the center of this building. There we go. And now it's time to create the roof of the dormer. 
Now to create the roof of the dormer, you have a couple of options. You can create that roof as here, roof by footprint, or you can expand it here and then use roof by extrusion. It's really up to you. I prefer using roof by footprint, but you can use whatever you want. So I'm just going to go with roof by footprint. Now it's going to say, do you want to place it on level two? And here, uh, because we don't really have a specified level for the dormer roof, we can just use level two. That's perfectly fine. So let's go with that. Click yes. And at this step, I, I prefer doing in level two. So let's go to level two. Again, pick walls, same overhang. You click once, twice, three times. And then you want to use just a simple line to connect this in the back. Hit the escape key a couple of times. And then because for this dormer, I want it to be kind of opened up on this side. And also in the back, you have to kind of get rid of the slope. So you just want to select these two lines, then go to define slope and just uncheck this option. Okay, there we go. So as you can see, these have slope, but these don't. The next step is simply to go finish. And there we go. Now it's going to ask us, do we want to attach the walls to this roof? And it's just highlighting these three walls that we already have. And we can do that. That's perfectly fine. So you can just go to attach. And then you might want to go to the 3D view just to see what this looks like. And it looks like that. And you don't want this. So in order to fix this, we want to give it an offset. And in this case, I'm just going to go here to the base level, base offset from the level. And I'm just going to assign an offset of something like 200 and uh, let's go with 200 centimeters just to see what that does. We can go a little bit further. So let's try 240. Just give it some height there in the dormer area. Perfect. And as you can see, because we have attached those walls, it has kind of stretched those walls up. And that's exactly what we want to see. Okay, moving forward, now it's time to adjust our dormer roof. We want it to attach to this original roof. So you do that by going here to the Modify tab. And then on the Modify tab, on the Geometry panel, we have the uh, Join Unjoin Roof tool. So you want to select this tool. Then you want to select the side of the dormer roof, which is this one. And then you want to select this side of the roof to which you want to attach it. And as soon as you click, it does this. See how it kind of attaches that. And now it looks, well, it looks correct. Also here, uh, if I just select these walls, they seem to be a little bit short. So I might want to go to level two and just extend these by a little bit, just like that. Same thing with this one, just extend it a little bit. What I'm basically doing is here, if I select this dormer, I want those walls, as you can see here, the walls kind of where they kind of overlap at this place, they kind of go up. It looks kind of odd, see? Well, I want to see that. That's a, you need to have a little bit of that in this area. Uh, okay, so it just ensures that we don't have any gaps later on. Okay, so once we have all of this uh, done, now the final step is to create the opening because the dormer isn't really worth anything unless it's open from the inside. And at this point, we just have a two weird walls and no opening. So let's create our dormer opening. So to create that opening, what you want to do is just deselect everything go to the architecture tab. And then here we have the opening panel. And on the opening panel, we have the dormer opening tool. So just select that. And now you simply want to select your, uh, let's see. So you want to select the roof that's being cut by the dormer, which is this roof here. Then you want to go and pick roof or wall edges. So what do you do here is because it's going to be a little bit awkward to see, I like to first pick out the bottom two edges of this roof. So the inner edges, see the inner edges of that roof. Then you want to switch this to wireframe so you can see the inner edges of the walls as well. And then you click on this one, this one, and then this one, see, and it looks like a little house. I don't know, it's kind of funny. Hit the escape key a couple of times, and then you want to go to the trim and, uh, trim and extend tool. TR is the shortcut, and then you just trim and extend like so. And you go all the way around. You have your kind of perfect shape. You go to finish, and now you have that opening. So now if I just go back here and change this to hidden line, it looks like that. And on the inside, 
you have that perfect opening and this is what you want to see and then finally we just have to readjust the walls because they are going towards the inside and we don't really need that so what you want to do with these walls is simply go and highlight one of the walls like this hit the tab key once and it's going to highlight the whole chain of walls and then you want to select them so just click once and you want to go here to attach top base click and then instead of attach wall to top you want to go to attach it to the base then you select that base roof so the roof on the bottom and this is what we get so now if I orbit around as you can see on the inside everything looks clean and perfect now my suggestion is perhaps create a little bit of a bigger dormer roof here we just have a smaller one but that's okay it looks perfectly fine we can add a nice little window so we can go here to the windows let's use the biggest one that we have yeah like that perfect and now that dormer even adds some light but we might want to center it a little bit there we go and then when you look towards the inside or from the inside it looks really nice so there you go that's how you create dormers in Revit uh, again as you said uh, you can check out that whole course if you want the link will be uh, just below the video in the description and please tell me in the comment section below did you uh, like this video did you enjoy uh, the, the content and do you have perhaps some your some of your own ways of or suggestions when it comes to creating these dormers in Revit. Also, make sure to like this video, make sure to subscribe, helps me out all, a lot with the YouTube algorithm and helps promote the video to other people that might want to see it. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.